Hello champions and welcome to our weekly Shapecast. We are live right now. We're an hour earlier. It's because we have other commitments to get to. But today we are going to be talking about the five essential things you need to know before seeking a personal trainer. Now there might be some background noise. Reason why is there's a bit of uh, construction work happening outside. So you might hear some drills. You might hear some clients screaming because they're in agonizing pain. But other than that, let's get the ball rolling. All right, so we're talking about the five things that, that we want to know before we engage a personal trainer. Um, so firstly, we really need to know what to expect um, from a personal trainer. Um, so with, with personal training, it's more than just a trainer coming in and teaching you how to do an exercise. Um, it's a very holistic approach if you're finding a good trainer. Um, there are several things that uh, a great personal trainer will do for you. Um, they will help you with uh, your exercise programs naturally. Um, they will also give you some nutrition support uh, around your food and your food choices and give you some um, guidance and recommendations there. Now when we say nutritional support, it's nothing specifically tailored to an individual as you know that's out of our scope of practice. Um, so you, if you do need any specific uh, dietary plans, uh, do seek a dietitian or a nutritionist who are uh, people that are qualified to give you a more specific approach to your to your diet and your nutrition. Yeah. Uh, yep. Um, so yeah, nutrition is very important though in the whole um, personal training cycle. Um, when you have a goal, um, which is another thing to expect from your personal trainer, that you're going to be setting goals, um, that you're both going to understand um, your ability and your expectation. It's going to be tailored. Um, to what you need, um, that you will uh, have a program that is tailored um, through from your nutrition, your exercise, um, and and your programs, and the things that you do outside of your session. Um, you don't just go to see a PT, spend 30 minutes with them, and then that's it. You, you don't have any further work to be done to reach your goals. Um, there is further work to be done. Um, and it has to be in line with your ability, but also in line with your expectations and what your goals are. Um, you no want to make sure that your PT is giving you suitable and specific expert advice. Um, what you mentioned there about nutrition is that a dietitian um, is a registered health professional that can give you a specific meal plan, particularly if you have um, allergies or a specific uh, need or a specific health um, uh, health goal um, that you need to pay particular attention to. Um, all those the dietitians um, do follow as the uh, the Australian standards for nutrition. Australian guidelines. Australian yeah. guidelines. Yeah. Um, but your PT should still be able to give you some advice around your nutrition and and what a healthy day of eating should look like in terms of calories um, and and the types of foods that you can choose for different. Um, for different goals. And there's also like great free apps out there that you know do have paid on subscriptions if you want, such as My Fitness Pal. Um, if you do join up in our PT program, you've got our access to our Shape app, which also helps you track your nutrition in terms of calories and, and macronutrients. Um, but the second point is the importance of PT. Uh, so many times, it, this is probably you. Uh, or it's been you in the past or it is still you uh, you sign up to a weekly membership and at a, at a, at a big box gym or, or another gym and there goes um, yeah so you sign up to a weekly uh, membership and probably haven't used it or you use it rarely um, nothing consistent you don't see many results so the importance of a PT is to keep you accountable to your health and fitness goals uh, when you have an appointment, you naturally rock up or show up to the appointment. Reason why is someone's waiting for you and they're going to make sure that they're keeping you accountable to your goals, whether it's weight loss, fat loss, uh, fitness or strength. Uh, motivation too. If your trainer is not motivated to be a trainer or they look like the type that needs a trainer, more than likely not the best person to be getting training from because if they're not preaching health and fitness in, in their own lifestyle, Sorry to say, it's going to be harder for them to, to help you. Um, and the support is is unbelievable from a lot of PTs. Um, I've got over five years experience and the stuff I've heard 
I can honestly say I've got more secrets than the Vatican from <laughs> from um, some of my clients. The reason why is they do open up to me and, and they share things that they wouldn't share with their family, their friends, their work colleagues because they just feel that they're too close, they're going to feel judged. Whereas if you come to a personal trainer, there is no judgment generally and that trainer will keep your, your, your mental health state at, you know, a confidential really, um, unofficial counsellors slash therapists um, and injury prevention. So many times you could be in the gym lifting the incorrect weights um, or the technique could be wrong um, and all it takes is a little bit of a misuse of an equipment or a misuse of in terms of technique and you could be out. You could pull a muscle, you could jam your shoulder, you could have some impingement, you could pull out your back. Um, if you are watching live, just comment hashtag live. If you are watching this later, comment hashtag replay. And instruct and learn. So if, if your trainer starts you off and just expects you to, to, to uh, know everything from the get-go, um, that trainer is more than likely not, not interested in, in helping you. Um, they're more interested in just seeing the time run by. A great trainer will make sure that you are doing the correct exercise from start to finish and will show you how to do it before you actually do it. I think it alleviates some of that um, gym phobia that some people just don't want to go to a gym because they don't want to walk in and, and use a machine and then look silly because they're using it wrong or they don't know how to use it. Um, so that instruct and learn um, that, that's, that's provided is a very important part of PT, um, that you're being instructed and you're learning how to use that equipment. Uh, and you're building the confidence so that if you do want to attend that gym or do an extra session on your own, that you can actually use that piece of equipment confidently and know that you're not sitting on it wrong or it's going yeah. to hurt you or injure you as well. And, and how many, you've probably seen these videos that, um, on, on Facebook or Instagram where, you know, people are recording other people in the gym and I've seen some really funny ones like one guy was trying to be a Spider-Man, you know, had one of the cable machines and the weight's too heavy for him and it's lifting him up and down. It was pretty funny and, and, and crazy, but, you know, a, a, a good PT will make sure you're not doing anything crazy like that. Yeah, that's the importance of a PT as well. Um, our third point on things that you should know before hiring a PT is how it helps. How's a PT going to help your um, progress more so than uh, another just a gym membership or just a basic um, uh, attendance somewhere? Um, so it's going to help because you're going to get faster progress um, with the accountability, motivation, um, learning and instructing and, and the importance of, of personal training. It's going to help you achieve your goals faster. Um, you're going to be goal setting and we're going to talk about how PT works shortly, but um, your progress will be measured. Um, you set goals and you know the direction you want to head in. So. Um, you, you get faster progress to what you want to achieve. Um, it it's also encourages a lifestyle approach. So it's not a quick fix. Um, let's go get a, a surgery that's going to uh, alleviate our, our weight issues or and it's going to um, change us substantially. Um, and, and on top of that, just yep. to cut you off, um, you want to make sure your PT is encouraging lifestyle, not uh, a quick weight loss or quick muscle gain programs where they're promising amazing results within 30 days like say lose 10 kilos in 30 days that that's crazy that's unhealthy one and and two you you're going to be slogging your your ass off just to get those results you're probably going to be under eating you're going to be undernourished and more than likely you're going to injure yourself make sure your pt understands that lifestyle is more important than than quick quick and easy diet or, or training regimes so PT helps with that lifestyle approach so that you're um, you're building better habits um, and, and that's another important factor of why PT helps because you are building new habits and you're improving habits um, it, it also makes your exercise more enjoyable uh, I know sometimes uh, some people are less motivated to get up and just go and take themselves to the gym if you do have an appointment if you're meeting someone there uh, even when you have a buddy system it can help as well uh, that you're actually going with an intention to um, be somewhat social as well as um, enjoy your exercise that day. Uh, it, it makes the experience a lot more enjoyable. Um, and you want to, your PT will also help with um, support. 
So if you're having a down day on that day, um, they'll, they'll help to lift you up, make you feel a little bit better. Um, and often they will be inspiring for you as well. They are humans as well and they have stories and, and can relate um, to what you're experiencing in many ways. Yeah, we're not many, robots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in many ways. So they can inspire you to overcome um, any obstacles and barriers uh, and, and stay on track to achieving your goal. Yeah, and number four, guys, is how does PT work? PT works before you start any training your trainer should be setting goals with you. If you and your trainer do not agree on the same goals on where you want to be, you're kind of just training as if you were going into a gym and doing whatever. Um, if your trainer does not set goals with you, this should be a red flag for you. Personally, every single client that starts with us will have a, a goal setting uh, session where you know we do an EVOL 360 body scan, we set some goals, we get measurements, we take progress photos, um, and the trainer and the, and the client both agree on a goal. And then from there, yeah. over the 12 week program we do, the, the client will, will work towards those goals intangible with, with the trainer. Um, nutrition is the biggest factor in, in most programs. Um, if you're here for just you know training, strength and conditioning, a little bit of uh, fitness, nutrition you can get away with. But if you're here for weight loss, muscle gain, or a specific uh, specific event such as a half marathon or a marathon or anything like that. Or even if you've got a health um, health issue, um, you yeah, know, I know in some cases diabetes can be reversed through diet and exercise, and we've had Diabetes New South Wales here um, recently running their programs um, to to help um, with the education around this as well. Yeah, um, I know not in all cases, but it it. Uh, diet and exercise can certainly help with some medical issues. Yeah, and and whether you like it or not, if you're slugging your ass off in the gym but you're not on top of your nutrition, you're not going to see any much results. You might get a little bit of results, a bit of strength, a bit of fitness, but if you're looking to lose anywhere over 5 kilos, 10 kilos, or gain muscle, nutrition is 70% of your result, or up to 80% in some cases. Progression, uh, progression and uh, monitoring. So... If your trainer will need to monitor you, whether it's a weekly basis, a monthly basis, or you know, at the end of the, the six weeks or the 12 week mark, whatever the program is, your trainer should be always making sure that they're checking on your progress. If you are just training for the hell of it, um, you will not, um, if you don't know where you're headed, you're not gonna get to your goal. Yeah, when you have a goal, that progression is important because you, you'll learn along the way um, how you're steering towards that goal. Um, and if you need to readjust your goal, um, that's a, that's a, a problem as well at times. You, you might have a barrier or something that's occurred, like a sprained ankle, and it's and it's impeded your ability to run a half marathon or something like that. So um, your progression is going to um, be important to monitor um, to see that you're on track to reach the goal that, you're, that you ultimately want to achieve. Yeah, and, and any barriers or limitations, as Laura's pointed out, um, your trainer should be aware of them, and if they do not know how to work around them, seek advice from a more qualified uh, profession, such as a physio or a chiro, before starting your program. And more important of how PT works is you will get maximum results within a shorter amount of time. Um, I actually find during my PT sessions as well that I put more effort in in that short period of time. So the effort that I put in, in in half an hour with a PT would be perhaps equivalent to if I came in on my own and, and, and worked out for an hour. Uh, I'm not gonna push myself quite the same as, as I would with the guidance of a PT. Um, so you're actually getting more out of your, it's more efficient, you're getting more efficiency out of your session. That's right, that's right. And who is, PT, who is PT for is our last uh, key thing. It's basically for anyone who needs to get their health and fitness on track if you do not know how. If you're already in the know-how, you know about training, you know about nutrition, PT is most likely not for you. Laura had a, had a belief that PT was meant for fit people to get very fit before she began her uh, PT with us. But once she started, she realised that hey, there's so many other people like me, here for weight loss, here for muscle gain, here for fitness, here for rehabilitation, 
even kids. We have kids that train with us. We have elderly people that train with us. We have teens. It's great for seniors as well because they can keep their mobility um, and also that injury prevention um, yeah. is important as well. And, and in terms of mobility, we, we had a great client, uh, Karen. Um, she could not lift her arm over her shoulder like this. And by the end of her 12-week program, she was doing four rotations. Strength was through the roof. She was gone for two walks per day and she's in her 70s. So that is who PT is for. Even P pregnancy um, uh, yeah. is, a, is another time when PT can be important because you uh, all of a sudden have limitations um, that you didn't have before and you want to you still be going to the gym and still be training, um, but you don't want to be negatively impacting your, your, your pregnancy. And I've got bragging rights here. One of my clients years ago, I found out she was pregnant before she was pregnant reason why is we do hands-on stretching with our training and at the end of the session I realized she was extra flexible and more than normal when I when I'll stretch her the week before the weeks before that now when a female gets pregnant uh, this chemical in the body called relaxin gets released and it become, makes you more flexible so I stretched her out and I said you might want to get a pregnancy test because you could be pregnant and she said you're crazy how do you know this next week she comes in and she says you were right, I'm pregnant. So there you go. If you're watching this, Kay, I'm still bragging about it. Um, anything you want to add, Laura? Yeah, so uh, let's just recap. So the five things that you should know or that you need to know before hiring a PT is, is what to expect from a PT, um, the importance of PT, uh, how PT can help and help an individual, um, how PT works, uh, how, how it works for you, um, and who PT is for, um, and really, it's it's pretty much for everyone. Um, so. <laughs> Sally, <laughs> you're not touching me, Joe. <laughs> it's all right. I'll give you a bacon and egg roll. <laughs> I, I had to pull that up. I'm sorry. Um, all right, guys. What we're going to do for you is we're giving a giveaway. Normally, you can, you can buy this book online from our website, but we're giving you a snippet of it. It's the A to Z fundamentals of weight loss we're going to post the link in the comments section it's a free download um, all we need is your name and your email so we can Just send it to you comment and let us know if, if you'd like a copy and we'll uh, make sure that it gets it lands in your inbox either way we're going to post it in the comments section below the the full link and you can download it from there awesome guys we'll see you next week same time roughly get excited and let's do this